to the next steps. Um, the last committee meeting we had ended up just being um, uh, Cindy and myself, and a lot of progress was made, but we do need more input just to make sure we're all on the same page and that we're all what we're doing. What, sure. what mm -hmm. um, I think if everyone, how is everyone looking for um, next week? If there's a, if there's a standing that you want us to stay away from, like you know that every Tuesday is just not good or whatever. Yeah, we'll, that's not a problem. I just I can't remember what's going on. But go ahead and make something that works for everyone, and maybe I can change whatever I have. Can we maybe plan for um, next Tuesday or Thursday? Tuesday's good for me if we do it early morning or early morning. Which day? For, uh, Tuesday the 15th. Is that a problem with clubs? Tuesday? We've got clubs up okay. and down. So, so yeah, Thursday would be better? Well, um, the house Thursday. is not available, but we are, then, of course, my house is available. Just it's, it's so I just don't want to make obstacles, but yeah, that's up to you. Um, Thursday, I could do like a 11 o'clock ish at the earliest. I've got to do that EAG meeting for Chris on the day, so Thursday's well, a good day. Thursday works for me, I think. Thursday, the 17th, the 17th, so by nine o'clock. Thursday, so she yeah. said, no, you're not here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, not I'm not going to be on site until 11. I have a meeting on site from 8 to 10. This is like 10, 10 30. Oh, okay. 10. Can we say so, yeah, 10? I could probably do 10 30. I think it be done by that. Okay. Yeah, I can't get here before about quarter for 11. Okay. Okay, so let's do 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. Next Thursday, the 17th. Perfect. Okay. Um, Brittany, would you send that out? Yes. yes. No, that would be the minor uh, for me to check. So just to check, is this a committee of all of us? No. Um, it's everyone. It's on this one. I'm on it. Right. You're on this one. <laughs> okay. Um, it's true. And, and everyone big is welcome to be there because they're, they're... It's a big... It's it's inclusive. Everybody is it included. Are we meeting um, here or here? Here. At 11 o'clock. And we don't yeah, need they can are the show up and like <coughs> yeah, they are ready yeah. to yeah. finalize yeah. the letters yeah. um, for the patrons. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank and you, Brittany. I don't need to do that. Yeah. Move forward with bringing those back with any other additions to the outline. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have, we have that outline, right? And if there's anything else we need to add to that, then that would be our objective as well. So the letters to the patrons and the outline. And just kind of wrapping that up would be our task for that maybe okay. uh, an hour or uh, an hour. two um an hour and a half should we get a little chat I mean, you really us realistically it may yeah. take an hour and a half sure okay and then we'll get hungry we'll have to get out yes yes okay, okay. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. okay. 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 I don't know if you guys all heard me, but we're just going to show up and she doesn't have to do anything. Right, course. correct. So, this no is just coffee, no, 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 wide range. It's not just targeted, I don't think, but it is going to be, it is going to include companies and individuals and families. So it's not a matter of putting together a cherry pick list. It's going to be Because we've got our list range. from people that have signed here. Yeah, so yeah. 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 <laughs> which is about 250 people. Can include them. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I think but it's can. going to be the, the wider community. It's going to be quite a widespread so it would like a recreation like constant contact be appropriate for stuff like that or is that not right? Oh we could send out a specific constant contact. Okay. Instead of I, I don't know. To what list? Exactly. We can send it over everybody. Yeah. Or has a wide net thing. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. That's very exciting. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, right. that's, cool. that's very helpful. Because that's what's so gonna want to be the next thing is okay. where are we we'll send out a specific from. email to that becomes more inclusive. The recreation. Or, or, yeah, it's much broader, inclusive, wide-reaching. Yeah, yes, yeah. 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 I love that. That's great. 
Yeah. Also, you might talk with, you know, if you're talking about businesses maybe being involved too or somehow, mm-hmm. then talk with LDDA or Chamber. Yeah, that's what I think Chamber oh, would be great to include. Um, why am I blanking on Scott? Scott is with the Chamber, is he? Scott, that's one of the names. I don't know yeah. the Chamber, but LDDA will work with them. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, Scott would be a great person to contact from the Chamber to help us with the. We'll, we'll talk more about that. At the meeting. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. So thank you. Okay. Yeah. Are we good? Anybody else? Anything to add? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to move on to tables and chairs. There's event storage. So in the packet. In the packet. Um, Very exciting. Yeah. I, I'm actually really yeah. excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. It is so <laughs> scary when we get to <laughs> Storage! Yeah. Oh, oh, just, like, okay. Taking people on wedding tours and being like, don't look at this side of the room, just look at this side. <laughs> like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. 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 yes. um, okay, so we talked about doing like a tough shed or a mm-hmm. knee shed situation, um, which is, you know, they come and install it or build it on site. Um, and a shed was their like, company is kind of currently under construction or so it just seemed like it didn't want to mess with that so I got this quote from Tough Shed um you can see kind of what it will look like and the space that it will be in right out here and this is facing like the front doors would be it's facing this way so they'll look like the front doors face west or do they face north um west. west okay easy access yes and also less visible from the garden as opposed yes. to facing it right. the other way. Yes. And yes. also easier to just like cart stuff out that way rather than and around. around. Yeah. I like the idea that there's not going to be any hiding spaces that people can no. hide behind it or yeah. 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 keep it tight and firm and, yeah. and yes. less have it blend into the background yes. and yet do its purpose. That was the idea with the color. I mean, we can choose, I didn't actually include the palette here, but this is just kind of a, it's all like earth tone colors yeah. that are available yeah. for the mm-hmm. most part. Neutral, like red, 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 but yeah. I figured something neutral. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. And here's a quote. Um, some things can kind of, you know, be adjusted a little bit, but mm-hmm. I kind of put in all of the things that we would, like the ramps and everything that's included and the larger door to get the stuff out. Mm-hmm. Um, the nice thing about the size, so it's a 12 by 10. Um, we did talk to Aussie folks within the city to make sure that we don't need a permit for this. It doesn't need a permanent foundation, any of that stuff that we want to avoid because of the size. So this is still plenty of room for all of the stuff that we want to put in. Mm-hmm. So it's really kind of a perfect size. Um, so yeah, this is this is the thought. Um, they're kind of waiting for us to approve the quote if this is the direction that we want to go in. But I feel like this is direction to go in, but I don't think it's a really Okay, yeah. I don't know if we need other parts on that one or not. I figure because it's under 10,000 and it's always, not like a, yeah. Just I think come, we're check good. with her. Okay, with her. I will. But yeah, I think, I think we're good to just, if we like it. Um, so the so size is 12 by 10. Yeah. And um, is the 12, um, Going 12 is the north front and south face. Or, so the 12 is the north and south walls. With right the right. door, yeah. Um, west and west east. and east. So 12 with the door. feet west and east. Yeah, this is a 10 front, feet north 12, and south. 10, yeah. right. Now the 10 feet north and south, um, I know this is just a rough drawing, mm-hmm. but I'm looking at um, will it hang out over and beyond that curve? No, it actually doesn't. This okay. is just my. All right. Just, <laughs> but it is. I know. Like, it's just a rough it, it, It's pretty flush, flush with it. Yeah. I'm a little flush with it. Okay. Yeah. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Check out. Mm-hmm. I think it sounds mm-hmm. wonderful. Yeah. And, then, and yeah. I have. Uh, yeah, I that went, was my only question that I had was which way was the doors going to be facing, and the fact that you were yeah they're they're like here that, yeah that's yeah. way more right. practical yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and so then um and so the, the structure looks great and as long as you're happy with it and it does provide the space mm-hmm. the proper amount of space to con- just to hold everything yeah including all of the like chair or tables that we already had and all that stuff the only thing that's not going to go in there is the pa system because 
it's not temperature controlled. Okay. But the rest is all plastic, which is nice because you don't have to worry about That's that. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, and this actually is, um, I think it does have some level of installation or installation. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to look. But maybe not, but that is an option. But the tables and chairs I don't really need any insulation. Yeah, it is it's water plastic, so yeah, proof or watertight, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so yeah. weatherproofing be... something. Okay, yeah. Well, that's right. Right. We'll check all that, but weatherproofing is, is important. Um, but then the last bit I would ask about, and this is not regarding the shed, but about the um, the the fence. Look, look, look fence on the south and the um, changing really fence on the east. Mm -hmm. um, um, is, is there going to be room to get through between the structure and the fences to maintain and manage um, what's, what's happening with the screenery or is the screenery going to be cut back? I imagine like when, so when last August when we had the, you know, frustration going on in the house and those Port bodies were there, that green all was not. It gave up. Yeah. It gave up and just it right in front like of it there. So I imagine it'll be cut back and just continue to grow on the other side. Okay. But Which is fine. I'd say as long as it's cut back, but the yeah. thing doesn't just, just die out or and then it just makes its way into or the, makes yeah. way over and moves it. I, I think the big thing is because of the tech chef, we, it is movable. So we yeah, can move it for maintenance if we have to. Say. Yeah. We can bring a tractor over and it, just if move it. Needed, yeah. we can so move it. But if, you, if not, we don't they want any fence. more problems with homeless. Yeah, I don't want to leave. Right. Right. Or, right. I mean, that was a concern with the one on the side, right. the right. camping out right. there. That that's yeah. a, it is a and, and that's a security risk for Brittany and staff, oh, wait, as well as anybody else that's having them in here. Right. But but cutting back that greenery yeah. isn't going to provide that space that someone would go and occupy, right? We're, we're good. But I mean, it's going to be, you know, because there's the cement curb right there, uh -huh. so it's going to be up as close to that it's as tight as it can. I don't, I don't think it's going to give a lot of room for people yeah. to be. It's good then. It's good. Good. But, but I would yeah. recommend, rather than letting it die, I would recommend just, yeah, getting it cut back. Just kind of coming away from yeah. both fences so that the, the green would just stay so, 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 so are you saying that maybe we should see if um, the gardening staff would do that? I think the city staff would do that. They would, yeah. 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 I'm not and using the correct terminology. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So. Yeah, bro. Is the parks. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Oh, for yeah. <laughs> and it does create a little bit of space here because catering does use the space, so but it still leaves a little bit of space for them too. Like you said. So. Okay. And the other shed goes all around. Uh, no, the other shed stays where it's at. So I wonder. That that remains available for parks and and ground crew. Um, but that, that one also doesn't have a permanent foundation, so if it needs to be moved at some point for maintenance of the auto house exterior wall, that can happen. Okay, well that, so. and then I wonder about how, how necessary that is going forward, and it's my hope that we can just, at some point, remove it entirely. It's so full of stuff that the park team uses and, and needs. So well, what that might be nice, I don't know, is if we do thing. get it moved off at one point for maintenance, if it can go tuck back in that corner so we don't have that right. space behind. Right. I, I think that's my biggest concern is the safety mm -hmm. aspect. <laughs> and then so um, we may put that on the radar if that's our objective. Is to, to have it move back. Yeah. 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 So we remove that yeah, extra. I think that's fairly possible. Should be. Should be. Okay. Because otherwise, the other colors of lighting, maybe we could light so people don't want to be there, or are we just lighting their home? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if it's possible, but I, I don't know if like some gating from that whole area. So we did get I, um, the. Uh, it's, it's been turned into a restricted area, like a maintenance only area. So I at least can say, hey, you can't be back here, um, mm -hmm. even though the rest of the grounds are public space. Mm -hmm. But it's On just the, a sign. It's yeah. not keeping anybody out. It's There's a sign the on, the, uh, on the barn. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if we can think about some gating at some point, but if, at least just pushing it back would be helpful. I too. think pushing it back is that like yeah. private space. 
And that will include probably some just shoring up that ground that's back there because it's, as we all know, the fence is kind of in this. Yes. Is it need of repair back there on that east yeah. side? Um, the trees and roads have so, cost so, issues. So that will kind of be a part of the project of, okay, let's restore or reinforce the fence, let's level that in that back corner, mm -hmm. and then that can be moved. I wonder if they are moving it, if we could get the repointing of the auto house as like a separate, because it's been hard to get like the yeah, all repointing right. yeah. approved, but if like mm -hmm. that is being moved, if that could be a part of the auto house repointing. Yeah. If it, I don't even know if the auto house needs it. Do it as like right? That would be a question for Kevin, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. But that's, that's a good thought process. That's good thing. Well, the yeah. parks, which we will, um, yeah. hopefully Timber, we can talk about walk out there and okay. talk about what options we might, they might see. And then okay. But, but so they would there. be the ones that help we could us. have them look at that, that fencing area because you can see where it's, the trees are, yeah, making, the roots are, the roots are causing yeah, traffic on right. that area. So they're going to give us a better idea. I mean, we're not professional. I know I'm not a professional um, engineer in regards to ground level and not any of that, but they probably have some ideas on what we need to do. Yeah. But, but I, I do, I'm sorry, Karen, I didn't mean to interrupt. No. Um, I, but I do think it's a good idea to, to move it back the safety alone. And I don't like the idea of having it fenced I mean, in any way, but if we could just move it back so we weren't eliminating that problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but That's I do like the idea that Kevin either wants to come the potential repointing of that structure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but that would be yeah, it's a question. Just the or the whole thing. thing. Have that one somewhere. I don't remember. Let's talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I okay. Okay. So do we, we need do we need approval for yeah, this? I is that I, several times I think this is a great idea, well. and I support what Brittany's um, put out for for an option, and I, I think it's I think it should be. You should move forward on this. It's like it's it's very very this. Is that a motion? Is yeah. that a motion? Oh, do we need, we need a motion. I mean, yeah, we support. Do the, the, um, I mean, we, we support like. um, Brittany's selection of this touch shed and, and move to go ahead and, and purchase it and have it installed in the purchase. I, I, I second that, that, that we do the purchase as stable. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I think they can get started in a couple of weeks, and then, so, so maybe a month. Yeah, I'm hoping. Cool. I think we can have them by the end of the year. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 Y
aware of the service that they put in and send a condolence to the family members as a board? We have in the past I think done things like that. We have done that in the past. Uh, I can't even do the okay with doing that because you've always done a beautiful job. I don't remember specifically, but I think it would be a very nice thing to do. Her well, dog, her name, is Sue Yeager. Okay. And, and you were going to get a color copy of her obituary. It was in the Boulder camera. Oh, um, but um, her daughter lives in Boulder and her son's live out of state. But if we just sent a, an overall condolence letter to the to daughter, to the family, I think yeah. that would be. At the daughter's address. Yeah. 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 It's just one of those things that I think we have to recognize people's services. Yeah. 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 You want to talk about that stationery? For that and somebody that's gonna yeah. write it or I don't have any address. You, I'll get an address for you, but I'm not. Would you write it? Sure, for us. Sure. And it's safe from the board. You can get a card and envelope. Yeah, I can get that today. We've got stamps too left over from the public record. Okay, we'll get an envelope and I will make myself an out to get the address for you. But the tea was what well, was was good, and we, and we did have people respond saying that they. We're sad that we're going to miss it and just have another um, obligation. Um, so I believe, you know, we're continuing to, to honor all the ladies and, um, and share with um, city council the, the special things that are being, um, that are happening at Caltech. I was happy that so, as it's, I wish we had more city council members show up. But we, had, we had four that said they would be here. Um, one just did, did not show. I think I think she may have she may have forgot forgotten or may have. Okay. There was another event that was yeah. going on that the city council members kind of were participating in as well. So she may have. It up. was a okay. busy uh, weekend at C. Yeah, there there was all kinds of things going yeah. on. Um, again, I'd like to suggest that it's a semi-annual thing. I, I don't think it needs to be every year. I think it's another, another one of those things that we're... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. I think we're, we're doing it so lot. Yeah, but when you make it all the time, it becomes less special. So yeah. now it's just... Mm -hmm. I went last year, I'm not going this year. Yeah. Kind of thing. Do we want to look at it as also a recruiting tool for more board members? And that being said, we have board members come in every three years. Is that something that we want to do every two years then? I mean, every two years that we do it? Well, well recruitment is happening every year. Yeah, that's true. Which is why it gives them yeah. cause to have a team every year. Whether people can attend that year or not, okay, at least it does still provide the opportunity to invite um, guests to come and get a sense of what we do here. And, and, and aside from just attending a board meeting as well, but seeing an overview from the year and sharing that with city council um, every year. It's, it is a special thing to do. And, and, and the one thing I do have to say, because we don't have a city, city council member that comes to our meetings every meeting, I think it's important that we keep contact with them and um, share right. information. It's That's the pro side in my mind. Yeah. The negative side is all the other attendees who, I mean, it gets to be all pain. So oh, either either they'll choose to attend. I'm going to write down that you guys but hold on deciding that again until the you have a new board right and, and that, yeah. that group that so, so, right. so, 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 so just don't yeah. stick with the debrief of this one and right I, I I agree I think we have it in our guidelines as a board that we set calendars in January and mm -hmm. I think we discuss it and make it uh, come to a conclusion at that time yeah let's just mm -hmm. take that there's with that discussion anything else on the fall team? Okay, moving into Art Walk. Be brief again. Um, yeah, Art Walk was it was fantastic. Yeah, I thought it was I had, amazing things. Yeah, we got we got good feedback from that uh, for the most part. <laughs> I have the surveys to share from that also, but um, so this we have comparison numbers from the previous year. Last year, Art Walk we saw two hundred and forty one. 
this year we had 404 people come through. Mm -hmm. 400 was kind of the goal. Yeah, it was great. Um, because I mistakenly, when I sent out the invitation letter to artists, I said we had 400 people come through last year, but I had mixed up the numbers from the uh, holiday open house. Right. So yeah. I was like, okay, we need to get 400 so people. Like, so we're like, so we're like, we need 400. So we need people on the street. You, you are kidding me. <laughs> I realized that. There it was, were more bodies. I was a little panicked, but Free we did beer. get 400 people, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that said, I have some notes for next year. Um, but so 175 in the first hour, 99 in the second hour, 88 in the third hour, and 42 in the last hour. So yeah, that trend we've seen yeah, in the first hour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got $123 in cash donations, 33 new emails. Um, so that was all really good. I do have some ideas for this event moving forward. So this event does cost us about $1,000 to run. Ooh. Um, wow. Yeah, so it's $500 for the band, $300 for the sponsorship that we pay to the uh, Firehouse Art Center, right. and it was about $250 for staffing. So um, mm -hmm. a thought, maybe, for next year. We can talk about this next year, but it's just a quick thought. Perhaps so that we don't charge a table fee to the artists, which I think is is good um we could maybe think about like a percentage fee so if somebody doesn't make any sales they don't owe anything but if they do maybe there's a small i've seen in most markets it's like a seven to nine percent fee is typical something to think about don't necessarily have to do that right. um the other idea is if we did uh a donation based wine bar Oh, that might be interesting because yeah, downtown they served it. food and alcohol during the event. Do we have to get a liquor license for that? Yeah, yeah, but I get one for every for every, every event, event yeah. where we serve. So the main thing is we can't have cash sales of alcohol, but if mm -hmm. it's free the wine bar with yeah. donations, I think that's a brilliant idea. Around. So we should make more money. Plus, you know, people <laughs> are like they're not having to staff that. They have well, we have staff, yeah, staff here anyway. anyway. Um, so it'd be staffed by us because we're all tip certified town mm -hmm. house employees. Um, and maybe we could even get some of the wine donated to, or like at cost. I think that's a great idea. I don't know. It's yeah. a thought. We can talk about it next year, but we, we basically pay a thousand dollars to put on this event every year. And so I want to think of a way to at least like recoup our costs. It's not necessarily meant to be a fundraiser, but I, I think it's, I think it's a good yeah. idea if we can cover the cost. Second um, comment is we, when I was the director on the Longwood Council of the Arts, we did the second Friday um, walks where everybody had art in the different buildings and it was second Fridays and they always had wine and hors d'oeuvres that were given out and then people made donations. It's a good idea and I th think that's a better idea than charging the artists. I'm not sure if the artists themselves are charged tape fees through the firehouse. Are they? They are. They are now. Yeah. And that, like I said, that's pretty standard for any kind of market that you want to be a part of. It's either the a big thing or is, a percentage. The big thing about doing that is the fact that we've gone from four artists to the amount of numbers that we had. We had 18 this year. I, I think we really would like to have the, the larger participants and in the garden and using utilizing it more. This is one way that we can cover those fees, and yeah. I don't feel like we're charging the artists, and which makes is us more appealing to want to yeah. come here. Yeah, yeah. I like and that too. They have a huge draw on Main Street. Yeah, an artist to choose to come here is potentially taking a cut in yeah. what they would be selling. I do not yeah. want to charge them the fee. Plus, if people yeah. are drinking wine, they're going to buy more art. That's right. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They can be more happy, and we we can have. Here's the deal. We don't just have to do wine. We can also do another beverage that's non-alcoholic, a, a non-alcoholic um, drink of some kind. And then the the idea that it's donation based or is recommended donation based, mm -hmm. I think it's fabulous. I think that's a great idea. Once again, Thank that's you, something you can discuss. Yeah. 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 But I think we should think about that. But it's definitely something we should put on it. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's so other something to begin to for you to begin to check into as in single about, yeah. and then yeah. for all of us to be yeah. discussing as we're getting in January talking about it. Joe yeah. Sam and Yeah. And then uh, for our how to throw the needle. Yeah, that's my understanding is that's how we can get around it, but I do want to double check. 
Yeah. Uh, the other thing I think we should do is we're paying the sponsorship every year, and that comes with a booth on Main Street that we've oh. not been utilizing. Oh. oh, but I think we we're, should. We, because I guess we can a market ourselves, clubs, yeah. weddings, etc., and also say Send go them over there. there. Yeah. I think so there's lots more staffing, it. but. Yeah. I don't think or, we have or recognized that we had a booth. Yeah. It may not be necessarily be more staffing. It's just that more board members. Will, sure. I mean, really, uh, yeah, if I, we're low on our board member numbers, uh -huh. yeah. when we're full, we'll be able to fully staff that. Yeah, right. So I think we should utilize that next year because we're, yeah. we're paying for it and we're not yeah, utilizing really it. Yeah. Even if you did it there. just the first couple of hours. Sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I right. think that's brilliant. And the fact that we haven't utilized it in the past is simply we were not aware. Right, that we, we really haven't had that opportunity. Yeah. No, yeah. Not that. yeah. Um, is there a date set already for next year? Oh, I'm sure there is. I don't know what it is yet, but it's usually around that same like second weekend in September. It's in September somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I, I'll check on the date and, and we'll work on that. And, and so hopefully, it's now because I don't want to schedule a wedding. Um, oh, yeah. The, the other thing is that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I apologize. This year it just worked like my niece's wedding was the same weekend. Yeah. And I felt like I wasn't as on top of things as it should be. Yeah, no, it all went well. Really, and, and I do think that we now have uh, an absolute list of artists that yeah. is uh, yeah. formal yeah. now, right? Yeah, yeah. So well, I, I, I got a million in the past. And, and, and I've narrowed it down. We've got it. Here's the deal. Anybody that finds a new contact with an artist that would be acceptable to be in here and, and shows an interest, please send it. Well, Forward it to me with her contact information, their email, or current phone number, okay. and um, their medium. I think, I think so, uh, according to, to Maureen and yeah, Maureen. and we're all shared on that. Yeah, yeah sure. On that um, one thing I would like to so the surveys from that, and again, I'll share this with you so you can read more directly, but. Overall, it was positive, 4.63 satisfaction with the event. Um, we did have somebody say that they were not happy with the communication that they received. Multiple attempts at, attempts at communication were completely ignored. No one ever came to introduce themselves to me the day of. I will take responsibility for that. Um, but I communicated very well and clearly with everybody that was part of it. So I think, I think it's easier for me to communicate with people. I think so. Um, on a regular basis, um, yeah. so I think I would like to kind of manage. I, I, I think you should, and, and unfortunately, I know exactly who you're talking about. And yeah. she never, she wasn't great at communicating with me. Yeah. So like, telling me your name, <laughs> just simple yeah. things, just sending an email out and, and not, you know. So yeah. Yeah. But overall, people were pretty happy. Um, some people talked about that they would have liked the attendance to be a little better, but it was almost double from last year. <laughs> and I think we can, yeah, and it's like, oh, this is pretty good attendance. But, um, but they may be. the marketing efforts were also a little bit mixed, but same thing, we marketed it. And I mean, it's been in the brochure forever and all of the ways that we have available to us. And I also know that um, the band sent out their own private uh, and yeah, lots of artists did. That was one of the feedback was that it was hard to share on socials because we don't have our own socials, but I did send them the socials from the city, so, yeah, you know, um, yeah, yeah. 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 any constructive things for next year's signage on me, pointing towards Callahan House, maybe offer food or drinks in the garden, um, which is all good things. Yeah. So if we're talking about doing the booth, we'll recover on that and we can point people in our direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I did not make it around to talk to everybody this year, so I will take responsibility for that and a note for next year. But honestly, Brittany, I feel bad because I wasn't here to help do that. Yeah. And that was not me. <laughs> yeah, I had the opportunity to talk to everybody, everybody and I didn't. Yeah, so that's my well, I, I, I think we talked a lot about every single one. I think I'll have yeah. all I got to every single one. To well, and they did mention more help setting up. Yeah, they yeah. did mention that like volunteers checked in, so it, uh, it, but you know, it, it's all right. I you never know what people's all perception all is. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and all in all, I think if you ask them, would you come back? They probably would say yes. Yeah, that so is one of those. That's really questions. Would they come back? Would they do it again? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We'll take some feedback and we'll Would you be interested in participating in the future? Five yeses, one no, and two maybes. Only seven people took the survey. 
Okay. So well, I was always that artist. Yeah. <laughs> when he gets hired to survey and survey. Yeah. That's what happens. Usually people who don't complete the survey are the ones that are totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. And you just have to keep that right. in mind. Yeah. And then they say, keep this in perspective. Yeah. Right. This, this so, but good. overall, it was positive. I mean, yes. like I said, in the past, we've had four or five artists. Last year, we had seven. This year, we had 18. Yes. Wow. It's a pretty cool offering for people, but I think there's yeah. a I mean, we, we've even had down to just three or four. So, yeah. So, the fact that we we have doubled, tripled, and keep on growing, I think it was yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I wonder if um, reaching out to artists if possible a little earlier could happen because yeah, I think uh, one person was already um, scheduled for in the firehouse or on Main or some other place, yeah. um, and that way, you know, they can at least consider this as a bit. Mm -hmm. And I think that reach out should probably happen in June or, or in January or after yeah. the January meeting. Right. And, I um, think we and that's natural January. because that's when we've set our yeah. calendar, everything is, is known and events okay. and times. Early on, we're and then on top of that, course, everyone that can continue true. to observe it. And if you find an artist, you know, gather their information. And like I mentioned, though, I have a handful of artists who would have loved to have come, but just weren't able to this time. Yeah. Around, which would be fantastic. And they I did express this. Yes. The sheet for and they did year. express that they want to be here next year. Yeah. So, yeah. They need we're good. lovely. Yeah. I think we're good. we can continue yeah. to grow this. And, if, and I think the big thing is yes. we try to have the mixed mediums. That's oh why we need yeah. to know what the. The the media. Media. It, it was, was a very good mixture selection of wow, artwork, I think. And we did get that feedback too that the selection was good. Nobody felt like they were in competition with other exactly. artists. And exactly. So I think that was really good. That's really good. Exactly. And the yeah. others that I have are, are also mixed too. I was, right. I was trying to be very conscientious yeah. about we don't want our artists competing with all the points. Yeah. 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 I also sure. like the idea um, that we have somebody. Um, Working or just not just displaying their work, but also possibly doing. Yes. Yeah, John Aaron always paints every year. Right? We had another person painting this year too. And the sculptor, the sculptor, that was yeah. really fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she was great. Yeah, so yeah, that's good overall. I don't know if um, the other thought is just me to consider. I'm not saying she is, but potentially one way to save money. I don't know if there's like a student performer or something. I know that Sal loves to do it, and, and Jam Salad is good. You know, yeah, it's good. It was good. One thing is they mic'd the, uh, um, they were mic'd this year, which oh. they weren't before, and I didn't know they were going to do that. I had to tell them to turn music down like oh. several, several times. Oh. Yeah. Um, just because it was difficult for the artists to converse with people. Mm -hmm. So we did talk with, I talked with Sal about maybe we have them like in front of the fountain so that they don't have to be projecting out so much and it can be a little more background that is heard around the garden, but if we do have them back, we need to ask them to not be mic'd because it was Okay, well, I'm, I, I'm also in, in the thought process. We need to mix up the artists and and probably look for an additional so musician. Just, yeah, just to mix yeah, up. Sure. I'm sure they'd understand and we could let them know we'd like them back at some point in the future, but we need to make a year next gonna, year. Um, well, maybe that. we could use them for a uh, wine and sip totally. or some other function. Yeah. that's That's... I like to utilize in the house, but maybe under a different yeah. guise. And there's, I mean, there's like a student group or something that would be much more affordable or free. Ooh. We could, because that's our biggest expense is the band. It is. Um, maybe I can, well, Sal was a, was a music director for the school district, so. Yeah. So I will reach out, we could reach out to the high school. I'm sure you would understand as long as change groups. it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's so, really easygoing yeah. in that sense. Like so. a school jazz band or something. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I feel like they're right. yeah, they're not going to charge there. That's a good thing, know. and then we get parents, right? Yeah, and friends, well, and friends, well, grand, grand, grandparents, um, club up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. music costs for club up there. Did we have a music cost for club up there? Oh no, no. no. They no. normally no. take donations, but since we were asking for donations, we just called it a wash, and we kind of and their own organization donated our. Musicians, right. time, whatever, so, to each other. So they, yeah, they were not things that are like along, like along those same lines. We well, know that yeah. each yeah. high school yeah. has their own jazz group. Ooh. So I will reach out to them and, and see, and maybe we can just do high school per year and move it forward. Right. Yeah, yeah. try to go from there. Yeah, along those lines, just so everybody's aware, the Red Door did reach out and say, "Hey, yeah. 
we normally get invited, where's our invite? Um, and it was a voicemail, so I, I called them back and also had to leave a voicemail and just said, thank you so much for reaching out, but we just wanted to diversify the artists a little bit this year and focus on more like local individual artists. And I never heard back, so anyway, yeah. hopefully they're not you know, upset about that, but yeah. why? So, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, Brittany, and everybody here that helped me that event. Yeah, it's a event. It was fun. I love the numbers. Too, yeah. So. Yeah. It's like way we too much. I told you yeah. 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 people in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to the website and Wikipedia updates. I don't have updates on that yet, but I'll okay. tell you what. I'm making my deadline next Thursday so that when, <laughs> um, when I'm here and we've gotten, we're done with um, okay. the, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, you're waiting on the website to be Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I kind of sort of, I, I put it on a back burner, oh, yeah. waiting on that, and I'm like, you know, I'll get to it. And then we had all kinds of other things I was working on. I'm like, okay, I'll, yeah, yeah. And then I'll get to there's that. a little But I'll make it so that um, on Thursday when we conclude our patrons um, committee meeting, I will. Make sure that that is done. Okay. Um, okay. To be able to provide that to you then. Thank okay. you. Yeah, and then I'll just go ahead and make that is. I think for Wikipedia, I don't know how that works. I think you, you, for that one, you might just submit it directly. I think you like request edits and then they, um, and you put them in and then they will approve it or not. Okay. They do want, or they'll say like citation needed or source needed or whatever. Right. So, so that one might be a little more involved, but for the City website, I can make those. Okay. So, okay. all right. Okay. Thank you for doing that, Karen. Sure. Interesting, too. Okay, is that all for old business? Any other old business to come before us? Okay, we're going to move into new business the club survey fall letter. It's in your package. So, that's a bit wordy. Um, there's a lot of information, a lot of information to get out to the clubs this year. Plus, we combined this with the survey this year, so mm -hmm. that people aren't overwhelmed by us sending a lot of stuff out to them. It is still just one page, so that's it, yeah, yeah. That's and, really good. yeah, with the tiny margins, and I, that was right. the point. That's <laughs> 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 okay. It that works. was my goal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, a lot of information. Um, at the top here, there's no change to annual club dues. is highlighted because I wanted to make sure that everybody felt okay with that's that. That's first question. Do you yeah, think that's appropriate? We raised them last year. It's not yeah. really the prerogative to raise them yeah. every no. year. I think that's concerning, sure. particularly. Right? <laughs> well, um, Which we are. But. With, with, with the older um, members that are in the clubs, that is a real concern. But yeah, I think overall, the overall gift of the house and the reason it was given yeah. to the city, I think we need to stay true to that. So I think that this yeah. is a good idea. Okay. Keep it yes. I figured that everybody would be in yeah. support of that, but I just wanted yes. to make sure that I... And I like the fact that, that, that you, you too. highlighted it so there's not a panic when people see this. Well, I wasn't going to have it highlighted on the letter. It was right. just highlighted just for us. To, like, for us. To, yeah, just, just to make sure that everybody time. knew. But... Which is fine. And I think oh, it could be bolded. Or it could like be bolded. That, I think maybe yeah. we bold it because that's the first thing when they said they, they give up. Okay. They're, they're, they're concerned. What's it going to cost? Yeah. What's it going to cost? That's the first thing out of their mouth. What's it going to cost? Can we still meet here? Can we afford to do it? Right. So if it's bolded, I think that would be. That is fine because it's beautifully tied into the first bullet point. Yeah. 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 Yes. Bold it. So, yeah. And the rest is, is no, like the paying. The lump sum at the mm -hmm. beginning of the year that was something I introduced last yeah. year, and it mm -hmm. just is so much easier. So that's not a change either. Perfect. That worked out for everybody. We do have one club that continues to hand me cash every meeting, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, but but yeah. So the rest of it is all, and then we kind of go into reminders. Um, we have been having pretty consistent issues with one of the groups um, just in terms of like moving furniture around in ways that are not safe for the house or for themselves. Mm -hmm. We're trying to work on that. Um, so that's kind of some of the reiteration here. Okay. Um, but we're working with them on that. We've been in communication. We had, they sent out a committee to kind of like come and talk about some different setup options and stuff. So I think we're getting to a better place with that. Um, but that just to explain some of the mm -hmm. extra verbiage, I guess, and reminders for that. Uh, but otherwise, it's all the same 
information. Um, oh, I, I, I love that you put in, please do not put drinks or anything on the piano. Yeah, it's been like, really? it's just this one, <laughs> this one group has just been kind of consistently um, needing these reminders. So, and that's okay, you know, okay. but we're just trying to. Do you want to take me of um, okay, these wonderful little table tents and um, put a, um, please do not set anything on the piano out when those club meetings are coming up? So then it's just a visual. Yeah, we've been kind of, kind of, all of putting stuff out on the, okay. yeah. So, yeah, sometimes <laughs> yeah. you can come sure about, putting okay, coasters everywhere. Yeah. This is a good idea. But it's not. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, hopefully that's, we'll get yeah. tightened up. Um, and then the last portion here is about um, reaching out to you all if they feel the need to, you know, mm -hmm. talk with somebody. Um, and also then the optional and an option to be anonymous survey. So this is going to be, it's not active yet, but this is going to be a link to an online survey right. um, or which can be submitted anonymously or if they want to, they can be submitted honestly in person and just leave it in the mailbox without a you know, blank envelope um, and then Karen's information is provided as like a okay yeah cool. sort of like having like HR if you yeah. need to like yeah if you need to talk to somebody, somebody that's not staff it's not the person that this yeah. is yeah they're all right but otherwise surveys will be will yeah. come to me to be shared with you all um, but if they need a step above, then, then Karen is their contact. I so. love this. This is so well done. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah. Sure. It is really it's well and tastefully done. Right. And just <laughs> no, but it covers everything. It does. And hopefully <laughs> answers all questions. <laughs> and then we can go from there. All right. I, I think one it's, communication. Yeah. So we're not like bombarding them with a bunch I, of stuff. I, I and, love this. And, and so you're yeah. going to give one to each cup, or, or are you, how will you? How will you provide this piece of communication to each club? The plan was email because then the link, the digital link to the survey is there and they can just click on it and would ask like to, to the club presidents and ask them to share it with their members. Okay. Um, and if anybody needs it, like Bridge, we don't have, we don't do digital communication with Bridge. So anybody that needs it, I can say, yeah, here's a paper answer. copy and then here's a link and you can type it in and go online and fill up the survey if you wish to or i can print one out for them too I right. out, you know, because so i i do i do know we have clubs that sure. are not digitally friendly yeah individuals <laughs> um, yeah and that's fine so but paper copies <laughs> will be provided <laughs> yeah communication preferences let's just call right. that snail mail <laughs> yeah Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Well, then I'm gonna get but, this but, out because you're doing so. Then you, you, yeah, you are in your communication with your point of contact for each club, yes. encouraging them. Please share this, forward this on to all of your members. Exactly. Okay. Great. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out then because we typically send it out in October. So okay. Right. Good to go. Excellent. Wonderful. Good to go. Thank you. All right. And and that's the big thing is please should, should please share with all your members. Yes. That's, yeah. Um, I'm to need to add some. Yeah. So we'll say that. Okay. Okay. Moving on then to um, item B, uh, the garden plants for next year. Yeah, we so have garden plants for this year. Woo! Well, um, so the idea is to, I wanted to get a feel for what everybody thought about this year and any like sort of general feedback moving forward. Um, and with some context that, you know, last year we sat down with Anne and the parks team and got some really detailed intentions for the garden that unfortunately did not come to fruition because we kind of have to go with what's available from the garden centers and weren't able to do exactly what um, she and you all had in mind. That said, the garden, I think, turned out really beautiful this year. We got a lot of great feedback on it. I think it was beautiful. Um, it's beautiful. Cool. Yeah. So, so I, I would love, you know, any ideas or feedback for, like, things kind of generally or things that you'd like to see. Um, but that said, it may or may not happen based on what's available. So, but I do think, like, the parks team does a really good job of finding, you know, fresh, local, available, beautiful annuals and putting in what's appropriate. I and love, 
I kind of I trust them the to do what they need to do. I love the pops mm -hmm. of color. Yeah. It was much more colorful yeah. and more vibrant. And I think particularly in the dark areas where it's shaded, that's what we need. We need a little pops of color. Yeah. But I do, I do think that we can go off of the ideal, which is what Anne was talking about and worked on. We're, we are still generally moving towards um, tightening up the aesthetic and moving towards a more formal garden as, you know, plants are not over time. Um, so that's still the plan. And, you know, but in terms of specific annuals and whatnot, that's where it turned out to be a little more difficult than we. So but I, but I think if we use it as a goal and, and drive it, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. No, I agree with you. And that should be the goal and that should be continue mm -hmm. focus and we should be working and it is and they're that. aware of that and they have done some cleaning up this year a yeah. really good job of tightening things up and yeah that's i think that. one of the biggest things is to, just for them to let's get things cut back we won't right. want this garden we don't want it huge and lush we want it more more Form. tight to yes. formal yes. to the areas which right. is a formal, formal i formal think thing. one piece as best as we can Yes. Yeah, and it's going to take a few years to. Right. And I think one piece that's critical and is just more about function is the, the leveling of the lawn. Did that get done? No. We weren't able to. We need that to get done. That is well, a priority. I can tell you. I can tell you. We'll see. People will fall. That is a tripping hazard. Tell you. We'll see. Okay. Okay. I mean, the goal is like to get it done as soon as we can. But is, it is what it is. It's grass. So. I know. But I mean, it is a goal, and I will try to do it. Yes. But you need to understand that we are we have a six million dollar irrigation project in golf. That that's the priority, and that's why I couldn't get those guys to come over here because they're right in the middle of it last spring. I don't know where they'll be this spring, but if they can, and that's our opportunity, and that's unique because we have golf. Right. Parks won't do it. Mm -hmm. They don't have a budget. Mm -hmm. They won't do it. So this is me trying to get our guys during their time okay. to do that. Good so, to know. And it is something I want to see done. I agree. It's really But important. I can't tell you. I, 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 won't, I won't be guaranteed. I understand. You can't guarantee. But, 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 but the but, critical component of it is this. It's not just lawn that's out there. There are there are structures. There are, are things. If people take a fall, that's going to be bad for the city. It's and There's grass all over the it's city. It's not about... It's not... It's... There are... There are Structures out there's a there hole out there. If there's a hole out there, then that would be one. Oh, I know, I know. But it's different from walking on the lawn in a park or or. or on a green lawn. Lawn. And so, yeah, we're on the same page there. Yeah. It, I think that is a, a, a critical piece of the function of, of the lawn. So, so, so it's, it's a goal. Yeah, I, I agree, hundred percent. Yes, and if, and while you're hoping to tie that in with your crew, if that is not a possibility, should we be looking for? Obviously, Parks is not going to do it. Um, should we look for a contractor who can do it? Mm. We could. Um, it's going to be expensive, and that's uh, it that's worthwhile to just check and get the cost. Possibly. So, and that is on in my mind. To take okay. a look at that, depending on where they're at, we'll know a lot more in January, and February, because mm -hmm. the the irrigation folks are starting up right now again, mm -hmm. and so we'll have a better idea of where they're going to be at and what time Ryan and his guys might be able to commit to that. So, so we'll we'll put it on the agenda for well, let's not say February because January is always a tough yeah. one, but and we'll look back around to it. I, I think I, I think thank you for bringing that up personally I think if we just get it on 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 the radar it's like tweaking like you were saying sometimes just reminding me <clears throat> it's a good idea but that that is a concern we don't want anybody hurt or anybody wants to see anybody fall or hurt and me being as wobbly as I am I understand that so um, I think of one other thing just aesthetic-wise. I do think that the color is beautiful, um, but I do think that the um, all the flowers around the fountain kind of dwarfs the fountain. It kind of overshadows. We, yeah, that was a big thing we talked about. So just for, yeah, just for planting purposes, yeah, well, that's my right. input. No, we, I'm not going to get particular. We agreed with that. Yeah. Like, 
last year we talked about that. That was one of our yeah. things. Yeah. To try to have that stuff more lower, 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 lower and, Yeah, it, so again, the, the, I mean, the same we have pictures. Happening. We have okay. pictures that show that, and, yeah. and that's where when we met last year, and we'll yeah. bring those up again. And yeah. say, this is the type of thing we want to see. Yeah. Right. And. And okay. they did put in the order so for I, I, I'm with you. that type of thing, okay. but then the order wasn't available as it was available, so we yeah. put in what we could. Yeah. So we do have the flowers for the first right. weddings of the season. So it's right. but, and that could easily happen again. So it's just something to keep in mind is we can ask for certain annuals, but they're going to do their best. But if we if we can keep Anne's overall goal, and mm-hmm. I think we all love what Anne brought forth, mm-hmm. if we can keep that as the ideal that mm-hmm. we can get to, and and being a gardener myself you would love to be able to wiggle your nose and make everything happen right away that year but it doesn't always work that way and if we continue to pack it down and compact it and make sure and and again i think we understand that um things happen it doesn't always work but i like the variation of colors that they were there they were very yeah. pretty yeah. And, um, and again yeah. we want to make sure that the people are using the gardens are happy and, and enjoying the, the foliage and the colors and i think yes ideally they should be smaller and more compact but you know and part of you know our fundraising well largely it's focused on um, uh, preservation of the house some portion of, of our fundraising, not not the donor program, but fundraising efforts, some portion of our fundraising can help assist with purchasing the proper plants that we want out there, not through the regular system that we would purchase them through parks or whatever, but if we need to go to a local gardener to purchase what we're wanting planted Which is in a park specific tries area, to do. for example, like for example, just around the mountain, if we want to purchase those specific plants for around the mountains, I think we can make that happen. I would not be for spending that money for that. I, I would look towards other avenues. I'm not, and we can find money. We, we have PDF 145. That's a, something that we could do, although I, that's supposed to be for more of a durable item, mm-hmm. so not an annual mm-hmm. sort of thing. Right. Um, so that being said, we, we really want to, I, I think, the goal of that sort of money is to try to support larger projects, yeah. which we would like to do. So future grant offsetting opportunities like that. So right. I really, I, I, yeah. I really be reluctant to spend that money on something that's an annual right. thing. Now, if, 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 if it was something where we're putting something in that's going to create a new new atmosphere, it's going to be year it's to year. Right. So, so yeah. a perennial then. I, I think that would be something more we could look at. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, I have some thoughts in regards to that. Um, just brainstorming. You know, um, they have a lot of people out there and organizations that are talking about save the bees type of thing. And I thought maybe we could work in contact with them that we have, have a bee friendly garden and we're trying to save the bees. And I thought it would be interesting if we could contact some members from um, the Boulder County Bee Society that do that kind of stuff. Not that we would have beekeepers here, but that maybe it could be an event type of thing. That was just a brainstorm to, to you know, maybe we're doing bee friend plants, that type of thing. Uh, my caution here is that people have allergies, allergies to bee stings. Uh, I, I, would, I, would, I would not encourage uh, bees in the garden. I don't. I don't Think that that would be our objective. And we don't want to draw them. Don't want to draw them in. if they show up. If they're showing up naturally, okay. Yeah. But if we're drawing them in, and it's going to be, yeah, you could just create a bigger problem. Yes. Than we're solving. Yeah. Really? Yes, because when you have people around, you don't want bees and people don't and people so closely together regularly. You don't. Well, but. We're not going to have the flowers and other things if we don't have the pollinators. Right. Those that naturally come in, but we don't want to like go to an extreme. I'm going to say extreme, and that's really probably not it. But really go to a focus of being friendly when we're we're not trying to really attract these. Yes, these will come. That will be natural, and that's okay. But we do not want to encourage and make it so that it is 
floor than what I, I, I'm not talking about any okay. hives or anything out there or, no, no, or no. anything like that. I just thought it would be a lovely combination in the sense of we're working for a, a better overall community. If, if that's a concern that it's going to be a, 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 a legal issue that we could get into trouble because the people are getting stung, then, then I'll just drop it. But I just thought it would be a, a fun type of awareness campaign that we could. I'm always looking for something that we can coexist or work together with another nonprofit or another group that is looking at supporting and, and the, the garden could be an opportunity. That's all I was thinking about. What about native plants with wildland restoration? The problem is this garden is an Italian garden. Oh. It's, it, it was put that way and I think that's we really would like to have it maintain that, 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 that mentality of it. So in that said, that is not going to be so much of a focus of, well, how do we okay. pull these in? I think we're on the right track, but I don't think it's we need a to more encourage more bees. Okay. Yeah. All right. It, just, it was just the thought process. It's only Italian bees. Italian bees. Oh, <laughs> right. Yes. Good point. <laughs> bring, bring gelato. Yeah. <laughs> um, one more thing kind of along these lines, kind of not, but um, it is planned by the end of this month to finish the lighting project because um, that was installed and right now we use uh, an extension cord to turn those on Ooh. but the the final idea has always been to get the lamp posts like the sort of mm -hmm. remade um, to mm -hmm. the same aesthetic but the ones that are there the lamp posts on the top of each post out there um, and also so that the lights can be on a timer uh, which so would be nice yeah so that the that's plan is to have them finish nice. that that's by the end of this month. Oh, good. Um, nice. Which is by good parks. Because they'll have to dig a small electrical trench, just like they did out here, to right. get that. Um, and it's just going to go from like this first post here to the to where like the sprinkler box is. I see so that's small. Yeah, that's small. Thank you, Brittany. That's yeah. just, just okay. that finished will be yeah. a good nice. thing too. One more thing off your plate. Yeah. Yes. Yay, yay. So, yeah. Okay, good to know. Um, question for new business. The club survey fall letter and the garden plans, do those need to remain on the agenda? Obviously we'll follow up with survey I, results, but... I that, yeah, I think the only I thing we be is this year. Can, yeah, but the yeah. garden plans, I think that that just needs to be calendared for when it's going to be appropriate to talk about them again, so that we're timely put with the future agenda. Or, so we put it under future agenda. Items. Yeah. Okay. And then that. put a date. Uh, yeah. But when, do we, when do we have to? Well, be I guess having decided and having put in the plans. Well, I guess that's kind of my point is that. I, well, if you want to put in requests for specific annuals, we can, but it may or may not. Which I offer those to be the case, or do we want to just trust parks to? I think take we, the bullet points aesthetics that we're looking for and and work within that. How about we have it on a future um, um, agenda item only so that you can share with us what Anne's plan was because I don't think that everybody had the opportunity to see. When was it was in a packet. Yeah. It was in a packet. When when was the, the new board would not have had that that information in January. This is true. New board January. members, hopefully, that are coming on board. January. In January. Gotcha. In January. Thank you. Okay. But that would probably be added into their notebooks, would it not? Um, well, Could we is, not add a, a, a leaf on, on garden plans in there? In yeah, the yeah, we can. I guess what I'm saying is that there's, I don't know if there's more to revisit if we're, like what we talked about here, we're providing that information I, to parks. I, I don't think you need to put it on future agenda. I mean, when we get with parks, when we have that date set, then we'll get back with you guys. There. That, I so think that's so the big thing, is what, so we have the dates, so we have the dates, so we know when you're asking for the flowers, and I think we continue to ask for the flowers. Doesn't mean we're gonna get them. I think we're I all mean, adults here, but let's I'm continue to submit to this continue feedback. To ask. I'm gonna submit this feedback to Parks now. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um, and Ben is out till Right, December. he's on leave, yeah. So, um, so we'll, we'll get with him. Yeah, I don't think any of this feedback they're going to say, no, we can't do. Obviously, the lawn leveling is when that can happen, and we're always continually, over the next few years, working towards the formal aesthetic, but 
and the lower and step around the mountain. Really yeah, but if we're not submitting like specific annuals that we want to see and we're trusting them to do, to get what they can get that's appropriate, I guess on a space. I guess in my head, we are going to continue to ask for specific annuals that we have okay. same list. And if we get them, great. If what we don't, same list. that's what I'm getting at. Is this guy was submitted last year? been provided by annual that was decided upon. Well, what, Part of, the, I, yeah, part of it, yeah, part of it, what was submitted, they were a little bit leery about because some of it wasn't really appropriate for the shade and sun areas. Um, could we, I don't know what that is. See that, that's the point. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that was. Okay, what? I guess I'm saying that we can continue to submit that and none of it might happen, or we can trust that they're going to get what's appropriate for the space. But if you want to continue to submit the list, we can. That doesn't mean that it's going to be able to be found or or utilized. But they're aware of the overall general. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we're moving towards that, that, that this so year, especially over on this side. They yes. turned a lot of things back. And right. So, so yes. they're the experts. That's what really. We're providing kind of an overall yes. guide general, as opposed yes. to like specific annuals. So you say some of the annuals that were requested were not were not considered appropriate for those areas. Well, they were going to get, they were going to try to get them if that's what you wanted, but we didn't know if they would do well in the spaces. So I think it, it makes more sense to trust them to find what's appropriate for the space based mean. on the guidelines that we are setting towards, you know, what we're going to see the lower exactly. the fountain and the formal aesthetic yeah. and all of those things. Yeah. So I guess I'm asking if you feel comfortable with providing those overall guidelines and letting them choose what's appropriate for the space based on that, or if you want to continue to submit specific annuals, which we can, but they may or may not be able to find them, or they may not, they be, may not be the right thing for the space. Well, I think we do both. I think we do both. Because here's the deal. If somebody else gets a, I don't know who's in that position currently, but if we keep on asking, well, this is what we'd like to see, can you please try to get this? And if they can't, that's great. But then we're still relying on their expertise. So. Just putting forth the list, and I and knows her stuff too yeah. in regards yes, to gardens. Yes. So I think we submit the list, and we are still going to end up relying on them in the overall thing. But submitting the list isn't going to hurt anything. Okay. Yeah. Submitting the list and providing the feedback of. Yeah. Okay. So next month we want to see what was submitted for last year mm -hmm. and see if that's still still where we want to go. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then club survey fall letter. I guess the survey reviews will be a future item for. Probably. We're we'll probably November. Be talking about. We'll, will we be talking about it in November or in December? Because when we'll depends be on how long we want to give them to that. do the survey. So right. maybe December. I think probably it will end up in December. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. November. I'm just trying to hurry them along. But okay. These well, I just know how it yeah. will work. Okay. Okay, um, moving on. Items from staff. Thank you for the manager's report. This is fabulous. I love this. Yeah. It's succinct. And I, yeah, I wanted to just, so we've had three different iterations of this this year to try to get to a point where you're seeing what you want to be seeing. Right. Um, I realize that this only includes July in terms of the more detailed financials and the ending fund balance. Right. Um, I haven't received those. What we talked about was that um, Sandra Sifuentes is providing these reports and she's the person through which I can access the fund balance. I don't have just like immediate access to the fund balance specifically. I have all of these financials, you know, that we can draw on. But my thought moving forward, if this is what you were looking to see, is that when she provides these to me, which they're not always the next month immediately, it's usually two or three months later, but that I can provide these as they're provided to me, even if it's not necessarily that a quarterly report is due. Mm -hmm. um, so we can see these as this, as it's available. And then I'll do, you know, the larger rest of the report quarterly as we've been doing. Right. But, um, you yeah, know, and then these items, I, I, I did make it a little more succinct in terms of upcoming events. Here's 
information about visitation and inquiries, and then all of the financials with the fund balance is provided as they are available. Um, if this is fulfilling the information that you'd like to see. And I did get some more succinct information about how the fund works versus the rest of the county budget that I wanted to share because oh, we yeah. were kind of, and right. it turns out it's actually much more simple than yeah. I was <laughs> understanding previously. Yeah. yeah. So, but now I do finally have that like clear for me um, to share with you all because it was a little muddy for me, but now I understand it better. So I can Looks share nice. that but, um, but is this fulfill the financial information that you were wanting to see? It does. Can we show it carry over from what was 2023 as far as um, donations? Because I, I would imagine there's got to be a carryover from, from one year to the next. Well, it'll be, I mean, what you'll see is how this changes from month to month. So these are, you know, this is as of the end of July. So ideally, you're being provided the information for each month, and so you can make that comparison as it changes throughout the year. And then, you know, this is a forward, like, in other words. Yeah, and moving yeah, forward, moving forward. If we, so that's kind of been the problem this year is we have different ways of showing information, but if we keep the same structure moving forward, then you can compare it over time, into 2025, et cetera, et cetera. You look at, you look at end of year. Because this is how, this is how these things come to us. Mm -hmm. So uh, you would take something from December and say, well, we have this much now, and then you can look at mm -hmm. the next report and the next report. And I'd like to see these come more regularly. Mm -hmm. um, nice I, I can tell you finance has been in hell, <laughs> okay. frankly, with the, with the budget this year has been like no other year I've seen because of the, the property tax thing, how it went in so late. Um, we didn't get a line item budget until three weeks ago. It's and usually that comes at the end of August. And so they have, and Sandra specifically, um, is she's in a new role deep in this and she's, yeah. she's kind of starting into a new role. But um, I'd like to see these uh, on a more really consistent and mm -hmm. timely basis. Yeah, so it's like, like and they, they the relate minus. to each other. Yeah. And that's how, we, that's how we go about looking at things because I can look at, I mean, I have, Every year of this type of report for our creation, and right. I go back 2018. I just pull it up. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, there so is. I'd like to see that more consistent for this yes. fund. So that's our. I think that's our goal. I think that's what we've always we've all wanted. Yeah. So, so you'll it's see like system. here's July, and as we move forward with this, so, you know, yeah, we'll August, August, September, September, everything eventually, so you can compare it months. I, I think what Karen's saying is. Is there any way that because we don't have a past report from 2003, can we get a 2003? Um, yeah, that's what you're, you're yeah, yeah. You're understanding well, I mean, what I'm saying. Yeah, the, it was in the the board report, like those, the, yeah, you're talking about the fund balances. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are in the like final report that we gave to council. You know, all that information's mm -hmm. in there. So, so you do have that information if you want to go back and and um, refer to it. Could that's that's it something that, that is like, like this. Um, sure. If if we could get a report that looks like this to just start, so then we have it in our consistently in our in our notebook that we can flip back starting at two thousand uh, at twenty twenty three. Thank you. Um, that's big, big fat maybe. Maybe. Maybe that, maybe. Okay. I'll take a maybe. Maybe it's okay, but you just said that you refer back to 2018. Yeah, it's because we consistently take care of those and we consistently yes. file those and we consistently do that. We're, the, we know, have not consistently done that, and so I don't know yeah. if it can simply be pulled like that. Right. I, I can yeah. provide, that's, all, that's yeah. all I'm asking. When Sandra started those, Maybe it was the end of next year, uh, last year, or it was early this year. But I can provide you from when she started creating this report. That would be perfect. Okay. And then we have a starting point that we can refer back to, and from now on, we can be more consistent. This is one one of the things that I know I wanted to see. This makes me feel better. Thank you. And if that can just be in an email instead of in like a future packet with all of those months, will that be? Will that work for everybody? Ooh. Okay. I like it. Um, well, as long as the email then is incorporated, then um, 
uh, the documents that are part of the packet because that is what is public record. No, she wants a printed one. I, I think I want a printed one too. Okay. If we do, I mean, the email is it. fine. Big packet. But just so we can print it. Packet. We'll just put it in the next packet. You know? Thank you. Because it's Sorry. public record. So. If we can just include it in the packet, I like to be able to put as it long in as this so I can just format it. works moving right. forward, so that yes. we're not doing another reiteration that another iteration that we have to then go yeah. back and match up. So can I ask how is that? how are how are fundraising events where we we actually have um, fundraising income the income from the fundraising event? How's that listed? Where is that document? What line item is that? Right. So, well, it depends on how the money comes in. So, like the table fees for Club Affair, for example, and the cash donations that we get at every open house is in the donations GL. Um, here in revenue under private donations. Yeah, private donations. So, and so, these it's listed under private donations. Those, yeah, like those exact things like the cash donations that we get at open yeah. houses, the yes. revenue from club affair. Right. Um yeah. We could always, if we have okay. a huge thing, we have the miscellaneous line that can always be added into if we need if we want to miscellaneous. Oh I don't like miscellaneous. Oh I don't like for change. Yeah. I, I want you know I want to make sure that what we're I, what we're paying attention to are the events that are bringing funds into the in, into the house mm -hmm. and and that can include all of the events that you you've been putting out there through recreation that have a fee attached so, to so those, those are not those, those, yeah so that is not donations. that is not revenue generating for the house yes so, it's revenue but, but it's, it's not, not operations it's it's yes. not a it's okay. not, not a relation. it's not, so not a, a fundraising. It's not a pocket of money. It's not a fundraising thing. It is it is revenue generating for operations. Mm -hmm. okay. For the for the calendar. So how the fund works, this information to clarify. Um so the, the budget of Calhoun House, this expense budget, is is created from the general fund, the city's mm -hmm. general fund. Um and then the only thing that is transferred is for salaries, but not regular staffing. So the transfer that, that you see, that we've seen in the past, mm -hmm. that comes from the general fund into the Callahan budget. And I'm talking about the budget and the fund being kind of different things. So the reason that, that our the Callahan House is unique in the city, I mean, there's a few others that operate this way, but ours is unique because the revenue that we bring in stays within Callahan House. Most other revenue streams within the city go to the general fund of the city in general. But anything that we make, in addition to, or, you know, that exceeds our costs, goes into the Callahan House fund and is a pool of money that we can do have to appropriate for the same as donations have to be appropriate for use and it rolls over. And it rolls over. That's yeah, so that's what that's makes it unique and that's what the Callahan House Fund is, is the, the extra money and the donations and money specifically earmarked for preservation it's that over. stays for yeah. us instead of feeding back into the city's general fund. Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's why our budget's unique, that's why we have the house fund. Mm -hmm. But our general budget, like I said, being all of these expense items that were allotted every year is based on our revenue, but is funded by the city's general fund. Right. Okay. Does that yes. make sense? Mm -hmm. um, but yes, donation, the donation revenue stream does have to be appropriated for per use. We can't just use it for general operations. Mm -hmm. um, well, it has to be appropriated for any use. And then the only, we are getting that monthly transfer from the general fund into the Callahan budget for salary Basically. and that's set up as a monthly transfer so when we've seen yes. that like transfer in the um end of your report that's what that transfer it's is for some monthly basis it's for we have no idea why they do that monthly yeah I don't know why it just, just it was set up that way when the Callahan House had its own budget set up like when yeah. the fund was set up it was set up to be a monthly transfer from the city's general fund. So what? So what I'm saying is, you know, we were concerned that the house fund was used for salaries, but it's not. And so, but any 
any revenue generating events. You're where asking are, to see if we could have a different line item. Where is the line item? I can see so, common, uh, common room fees. Yes. Right. And, and that's that, what you're looking at. That's, yes. Is that the catch all for any revenue generating event? Typically, there are some subcategories under that but the thing that we, we did set it up so that since this programming kind of stuff is new this year mm -hmm. we did set it up so they do go into that fund but you can I can break it down and see what is coming from programs and what's coming from like a private rental for example I think that would be worthwhile because especially if you're going to continue with special programs that are fee based yeah I'm saying that we can it would be see that it's not going to reflect in this report that. that's, but that's what we, we set it up within that but it falls under the calendar it's a separate report to see that it's not going to show up here so so, so revenue in general for the most of it is coming into um yes catering is like if we're providing a coffee and tea package for people okay um so see so um, you yeah you're breaking out catering most of most of our revenue is coming into room fees and there's also you know it's set up for that to be the expectation that's the money that we're making from private rentals and okay. programs so it's all going into that bucket but if i want to pull a report and say how much you know came from this specific program i can do that but it's not going to show in this report and i don't think that we necessarily need to, to see that here I just want to make sure that there's a way to do a check and balance up when you, at the end of the year, can see, all right, what did we bring in from the programs mm -hmm. and what was our cost? I also keep a and report. And because that's, that's, you know. Yeah, I do that for every program so I know what my, like, net gain is on yeah. each program. Yeah, that's, I have a, separate sep sheet that that's I a separate thing that all program members do. Yeah. So that's, that, that doesn't have anything to do with this. Yeah. Because yeah, right. when you, you cost, you cost out a program to do it. You have to figure all those fees, and at the end of the program, you figure out. Yeah, and in so most cases, we're not bringing. Though. Yes, of course, that's it's always that's the goal. The, and in most yeah. cases, we're not. The programs aren't bringing in huge revenue it's streams. The, I, yeah, the margin on those is pretty slim, but I do want to make sure that there's a margin, and we're not losing money on that. But we okay. make maybe two or three hundred dollars in those programs. Okay. Okay. So, Carolyn, I, I guess I'm on a clarification of where you asked me. Would you? Is those numbers that you would like to see specifically, you know, just once a year report? Because I can't see doing it sooner than that, but maybe at the end of the year we look to see how much the programs are making, to see if we need to, to tweak them, what we as work can fill in. I, I'm not sure what you're right. Well, the part, we're talking about community-based programs, which, mm -hmm. you know, I'm managing those. If we're talking about fundraising, yeah. then that's a different thing that, you know, you all Right. take the lead on right um, I'm happy to share information about programs but it's just a little spreadsheet that I keep that talks about costs for each one um, what you know you're seeing the larger numbers here so I'm, I'm not going to provide that report right. with this every time but if you want to see it out of curiosity or at the end of the year I'm happy to it's just an excel sheet that I fill in manually I think generally then after a program at the next board meeting because you will have all those numbers pretty much by that time just sharing that information in the um, house manager or staffs, you know, that would be helpful just to have that information at that point in time. It doesn't have to be I'm curious why yeah, that's so helpful. Um, because it's, I don't understand why balance, that's helpful. It's, it's because it's a matter of, well, are these programs really um, beneficial? The point of the program is not to be beneficial, not beneficial to the house. It's meant to create another way for people to get into the house yeah. to have yes. a different experience, yeah. Yeah. which and is being provided. I think that's, that's which, right. not that's that's beneficial to the house. That's the point. No, we're not losing money on any programs. Yeah. Are we at least? And the nice thing in recreation it, is, and this happens all the time, if the program doesn't get enough sign up and it, you're going to lose money on it, it gets canceled. That's yeah. kind of a standard. I, 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 I so. love that we are providing more services and utilizing the house more. I love that. And I personally think it doesn't have to come directly after the thing, but it, it would be nice to review it at the end of the year. That's it. Okay. I Just so we have a better understanding and we can better communicate it with anybody outside the house that's asking these questions. We are more informed. I think being more informed as board members is a good thing. I just don't think that we need to do it directly after the event. If we could do a, a simple spreadsheet report at, at the end of the year, 
that just goes through and covers that. That would be and then my preference. If you want to see that information, I'm happy to share it, but it would be much easier to share because it's an ongoing spreadsheet. Right. Here it is at the end of the year. And yeah, and then okay. it's, it's just done and we okay. then can look at the numbers and then we can go from there. Because yeah. again, it's not good. There's an appetite there, but there's some cheaper discussion for, for future use of the house. Yeah. So, yeah. And if we just do it yearly, I think that's more than good enough. Where will the patrons' donations fall under private donations? Yeah, I don't know. Private donations. The patrons and that's this on the entire So I'm saying that we really only have 992 dollars total donations to the given the house there already. There were almost zero donations last year, so I'd say that's a pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, historically, we've not really taken much in private donations other than the cash given at open houses. Mm -hmm. So now we're finding new ways to increase the money that's going into that direct account. So mm -hmm. now, and so and the sale of the, yeah, this is just through July. So the sales of the that doesn't have public fair. The sales of the books and the artwork and all of that does that just go under rupees or where no? Where that goes in donations. The yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though there's a cost to those items. Yeah, I mean those items have been around for so long that cost is on whatever yeah. several so years ago. As a, I imagine maybe a supply cost or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Adjustments for salary that's city citywide stuff. Um, we are <clears throat> we are squeezed very hard in recreation right now. Um, city in general, uh, we have been allocated some more money in the current 2025 budget to operate. Um, for example, I'm going to be meeting with Sandra here in I think it's about a week um, and needing to appropriate so so that we can keep everything running in the end of the year because we are going to be out of money sometime in November is my opinion um, which we knew was coming I knew it was coming we talked about it for multiple years mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so we've been appropriated our new budget um, as I think it's 276000 more uh, which still will not get there Cover everything. but we uh, with the increases for next year the standard increases but we are doing well enough in revenue this year. And again, this has nothing to do with the I'm just guys, this is not the Calhan fund sits on its own. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm just giving you guys information as to where we're at overall. And so we'll have to appropriate some amount of money this year to to into our budget from our revenue. And you know, we've been doing well enough this year. Um, as long as we don't take into account 80% cost recovery, which we know we're working with the um, city manager's office, then we'll be okay. And then next year, we're hoping for another infusion into 25 to bring us back to whole. The goal is still not whole in recreation from COVID and to get back to whole. So, but, but that that, that is, is something that's not new information. This is, this is something that, um, that you guys have been aware of for a while now. It's, it's reaching across the board, not just within the city, but within county programs too, is my understanding of things are. It's, it's tight, and the, there's a lot of unknowns with the with the adjustments to this, the property tax thing mm -hmm. that they're working on <coughs> actively right now. So so we'll see, because we've been, the other part of that is we've been asking recreation bringing $480,000 in budget, which is, um, more than 10 percent it's it's probably 12 percent over what we brought in this year which is well, we won't make it um, and that'll be the first time we're in that situation to not make a budget so it's a we will have to look at raising fees and recreation for the third time in two years which is which you know we, we talk a lot we yeah no, we no, talk a lot about equity and trying to get folks in and we keep raising our prices and it's uh it's a 
It's it's a tough thing. It's a we're in we're in a kind of tough position, but there you go, a little bit of information on it. Yeah. Well, again, that's a recreation thing, not a count in house. This budget yeah. sits on its own. But that said, that tells me that um, what you submitted for our capital improvement um, request is denied, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. um, yeah, all level two requests were denied this year, which is um, any staffing that's not internally paid for or um, has to happen, actually has to happen. And um, yeah, CIPs, there was nothing. We didn't get anything in operation at all. So. Did we get a, um, an estimate? Did we actually get an estimate from Kevin for we We never got anyone. I asked. Do we, at World yeah. Do we need to be seeking um, out another? Um, uh, yeah, I, it's my intent. To, it's my intent to have a solid number before next April on the May when I have to put that number in again. So, so should we start reaching out to we'll take care. experts? Now? We'll take care. So, there you go. Especially and it's not, I, I keep talking like it's home and doom, and it's not. It's not. Yeah. We're, we're doing really well overall in recreation. Um, numbers improve every month. We're you know, 12, 15% over last year. We're doing really well. Um, so I think the future bodes well as long as we don't see weird, really weird hiccups again. Right. So, well, yeah. you know, my point is this given where we're going with the patron program, I want to know what our goal is so mm -hmm. that we can share that with people yeah. so that we know, okay, this is where we're going with us. This is the amount of money we need to be raising. Yeah. This is why the patron program is going to contribute to and, and fund that specific restoration mm -hmm. project. So that's where I'm going with that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing that, but I, I think it also votes that um, it's important what we're doing with the house and keeping our fees where they are so people can feel like they can still use things and it's affordable. Um, yeah, and I'm also thinking of the outside citizens looking in and trying to use recreation services and why it we do what we do here. Mm -hmm. And our programming goals here are really based around getting more people in the house. In that, that's, that's, that's the message. Yes, which is yeah. fantastic. Which is why that's, that's so important. Yeah. Usage. Yeah. Yeah. And because it's so, when they come in the first time, we want them to be able to think about it for their next thing. Yeah. Exactly. Think about it for a wedding. Yeah, you know? right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, that's really been our main goal. I mean, yeah. as far as the additional yeah. well and i think the other yeah. thing we is to make as many of those that we're not the right. goal is not so I, I, think the, yeah. I think the big thing is to make it obtainable and affordable so everybody right. can use it yeah we're setting just, a price that is the best price that we can yeah. set while covering our costs right you know and like i said so far the programs have maybe made two or three hundred dollars each it's nothing Okay. That's, yeah, but it's, it's we're not losing it. It is now. progress, that's, that's and we're not thing. going backwards. Yeah. We're getting that's exposure. Right. On, the, on the exposure. On the exposure note, um, are we still coordinating with the museum when they're doing their historic tours so that they get to come into the house? Uh, it's in the so manager's report that they were just here. Okay, big yeah. oh. I did not read that part. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. Because that's yep. the, the, any time we do exposure. them, as long as the house is available, they start here and I do like a little 10 minute word mm -hmm. about counting before they go on yeah, the way. Nice. But it's a cool, people yeah, are excited to see that. A lot yeah. of times you haven't been in before. And exactly. it's, I like doing them. Yeah. I used to do that at Bond Brown. It's kind of fun. So. There, yeah. there used to be a teacher in the district that would schedule the third graders when the day they went to Overland Park mm -hmm. for the Historical Society, they would come through here first. Yeah. So that may be something you would want to reach out to Elise about for next year. Okay. And do those tours in April. Okay. Um, that, that you're open to doing. Yeah. Kind of thing, okay. If you so, are. So we're, if we're you are. Yeah. <laughs> contacting with the, with the school district. That I, I think that's great. Right, but it would be it would be set up through the historical society, not necessarily okay. the school district. Yeah, well, through the yeah, but we're catching those third graders. Well, and we, yeah, yeah, and I've talked to Elise and Luella a few times about how we can connect with each other more, you yeah. know, as a as a offering for the community. So that's a good way to do that. Cool. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, and maybe short, just real quickly. 
interesting thing that's like news that we haven't chatted about. September we saw 960 people. That's the most that I've ever seen come through the house. I don't have numbers prior to 2022, but that was exciting. Yeah. Busy, busy September. Um, uh, oh, the uniforms. Um, staff is going to be moving forward with like some branded logos for more casual events and then um, a different outfit for weddings so that we can be like recognizable as I think that's great. Now that we have the Callahan House logo, we want like, to you know, like that. It. So, yeah. And every staff was unanimously like excited about that. That's good. Um, that's good. So yeah, uh, the marketing campaign for the engagement season. Um, Started out walking to our Bourbon Street <laughs> dinner sold out, and we have a wait list for that. So that's nice. next Friday. That's cool. Um, so we have all that's those final great. details are taking place for that's that. Sold out. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. The Murder Mystery yeah, dinner is sold out. Sold out. I think that's um, what we Yeah. So hopefully the final test will be because we'll do a participation or a participant survey for that and see what people have to say about it. But um, should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and then musical performances are on November 8th and 9th. They're actually going to be upstairs. And the whole point is like, hey, we got a new piano. Right, so, right. But the Ooh. Maria, the pianist, who's the one that came for the July Open House, um, was saying that it's traditional to have the piano hold sideways so that you see her profile rather than her back. Right. Mm -hmm. She said we could do that in here and still fit people in. So they're going to be upstairs. Um, but the Friday night one is the professional performance. So it is a a cost registration and we're just going to serve like some wine and cheese and working with Wyatt's to get wine at cost hopefully for that and then the next one the next day is a free student performance um, with Maria's the students um, it's just as like an offering to the community and we'll just serve tea and scones but the, the revenue coming in from the one event is going to cover the cost of both um, so yeah, so that should be cool. We have six people registered for the professional performance so far in color with the student. Yes. So yeah, um, I, I think it's great. And yes, I know we want to use this piano. I we will eventually. But, but I, I think the fact that we're utilizing the piano upstairs in yeah. is great. And it's all of Yeah. 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 So and that's why that one was moved up there. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so that'd be cool. And then I think everybody's aware at this point, UV protective film is on mm -hmm. all of the storm, not all, like, I mean, on all of the appropriate storm windows. Not the not, needed. Not mm -hmm. the north windows. No, and not the kitchen areas and things like that, but everything, you know, that made sense to do. So that's complete, which is good. Um, carpets and tile got cleaned and upholstery got cleaned. And we're still, I think in November, we're going to be talking about whether or not to restore the floors or continue to wax them. Um, Kevin was here from Empire was here last week to, I guess, update the quote on the upstairs wall and floorboards um, and, the, and the sconce. So he does actually have somebody for that now. So that's oh, kind of on pause for a while because they were just too busy over the summer. It's kind of a smaller project for them. And so now we're trying to move forward with that this winter. Is that the bathroom? Uh, no, the that meeting room. The, the, the one on the... South South Wall oh, has been broken. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, some updates. Wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else from the manager's report? Are we done? Okay. Good. You and Dan. Okay. Items from the board. Anybody have anything they want to bring forward? Um, actually, I do uh, want to bring up, and I should have mentioned it with the, the faulty. Um, because we all did um, supported with food and stuff, is there any way that we could add those in and put that in as a donation? That we donated the food and whatnot, and we could get a that we donated to the house with receipts. Well, there's not money coming in to. I don't know how that. You can. You can. You, you can recognize as a donor. donor. But you can. You can write a. You can write a note and sign it that says this person donated this much if that's what they want yeah. if that's what they need that's why you can do okay. that because yeah. that actually happened it, it has no meaning on our end right yeah. so, so, so just once it's donated like once receipt. something's donated yeah, that's yeah okay something. that's all that you know because of the you know we all had a slight expense but we've always done that in regards with with frames and other things you know, um that have been donated in the past for 
various things. I know you've donated things, and I think it's important that we state that such a donation was put forth, and then how do we get a receipt for it? How, how is that? Well, that's the thing that we're, we're not a nonprofit, so so we're not a charity, so, right. yeah. so you can't. Yeah. So it's, it's not a tax. It's not a tax. So it's not a tax. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, he's saying yes. But yeah. you're welcome to say if somebody so wants that or wants a letter. Yeah, letterhead you, that's acknowledging yeah. your donation. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is that okay? Sure. Is the board okay with that? I don't need that. But I don't need that. Okay. okay. <laughs> I guess if anybody that wants it can send me an email with the amount that you okay. Would, that yeah. I'd be happy to fish right now. It was just something you probably donated like that. But I think yeah. that yeah. it would be fair and right that if you total it up and let us know what it is, we can all kind of pitch in so that we're even if everyone's okay with that. And that might be just a personal individual choice. Mm -hmm. But I'm on board with that. I'm I'm great to donate. I just would I I just you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. If you, yeah, if you can send me an email with the email, and I can send okay, you cool. with the email with the letter for that. Thank you. Of course. Okay, so I brought my two little teacups in. Are you willing to give them a home, or should I take them back home? Is there a historical significance to them, tied to the house? We bought them at an antique store. Um, <laughs> they, they look like it's awesome I, cups. Uh, several of these teacups up here were part of my teacup collection. So it's kind of the same idea that part of my collection. I think just cups. Okay, I'm, but they look like espresso cups, but I believe they're chocolate cups. Probably for a hot oh. or for little little girls if we do a little girl tea. Do we have any more little ones here? We've got a couple that don't want really to use because they're too small. Too small, small to yeah. include in most of the tea service. Right, uh -huh. but if. I'll be glad. I guess I would leave that up to you all to decide if it, you know, use wise. I don't think that they'll get much, but um, I would leave it bearing in mind like the sort of idea that we've set behind the donations. If I leave that up to you all to decide if that's well, on my list of things, things that you could do for events, though, you could do a hot chocolate um, something, and we have to. Purchase more because we've got maybe a handful of these. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so yeah. storing them and then yeah. 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 storing them and then storing them in a They're lovely. I'll take them home. They're lovely. No problem. Yeah. I'll take them home. I love them. And then the other thing is this plaque. I don't know if that's something we could put up above where Mary's picture is. Um, this was given, I'm sure, to her in the city. In memory of Mary Shy, chairman of Catlin House Board, 1938 to 68. Um, it is kind of scuffed up. I should have cleaned it up better. But otherwise, I will take it home. And I mean, that has a, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's significant. Um, so, I, I think it's that's appropriate, appropriate to me, but right? I would yeah. also leave that up to you all to, to decide that based on the donations. I think that's just sort of yeah. yeah. is, is this oh, is there a place we can display it up there? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. There's potentially it's room on the board so wall. The placement of it is not. It doesn't even have to be displayed if there's a place mm -hmm. for memorabilia that you have somewhere that doesn't get displayed. Sure, but it, it does seem like it makes sense to go with the board stuff up there, but I think that would be something that maybe you all should put to a vote based on the incoming items to be hung and, and the donations meeting? process in mind. Yeah. How about after a meeting we can go up and kind of take a look and give it some thought and we, then we can come back to it next month? Sure. Okay. Because I know that, um, I understand and appreciate what you're saying there, but um, Mary's, Mary's picture, is, she is one of two board members over mm -hmm. all of these years that's up there on on the wall and i do think that that's significant it does identify her years of service which is significant um and i don't think that having a plaque okay. is warranted or necessary no problem because just, of that recognition that's well, so already there that is very it's very prevalent it's oh. very clear who she was and what she did. I would encourage putting it to a vote, to be honest, and, and thinking about, you know, if that doesn't live here, 
or does it make sense for it to live? Because personally, I am I am for items of direct historic significance to the house, which this is mm -hmm. being in the house. But I would think I think that you all maybe that was the idea that was laid out with the donations policy is that the board would sort of I vote like, on what items are appropriate to have here and how they would be used or displayed. I think it's it's historically significant, whether it's hung on the wall or not. I do think we accept it as an item and then we make a decision whether it should be hung. It could go in bookcases too. It could yeah. go in yeah. library yeah. bookcases. So what if on you know whether true. or not it's going to live at Callahan House now and then we can take some time to think about where it should what be way it lives here. All right. I, uh, then I move we accept the item to live in the house. I second. Yeah. What they said. Huh. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody disagree? And then that said, if it needs cleaned up, is that something that I'll take it down and see what I can do? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Like yeah. yeah. the yeah. keepers for it, and then we can yeah. revisit next month. Dark way. Lives here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Are there any other items from the board? I think I thought of one other thing in regarding the video that I did not um, previously share with it. it. It just went over my head. I was not thinking to bring it up when we have a conversation going through the video and giving our feedback. And then I didn't um, think to just talk about it when we're talking about the other thing. But, it, uh, but the fact that you're having some voiceover stuff. Um, well, the, the thing that I, I I think I would like to suggest that is eliminated as far as reference is the reference to Homer Home and the reference to did you say Elmer Park in your in your in your um, in part of your interview and your reference to Homer Home and Elmer Park and in my in my opinion I'm thinking that our video needs to stay entirely wholly on the on the Calais House and not a reference to other. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's I think it's interesting. It's, we talk about the community as a whole. Yes, you know, those yes. are areas of the community mm -hmm. where historic preservation mm -hmm. is being valued. It's true. And I think it I think it speaks to Longmont valuing those things. I think it's important to include I I I, 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 I personally. Okay. I, I agree. Okay. Because it's part of Longmont. Okay. And and if we were talking about something in a different community that would be different. But it is part of Longmont and it's all in a working together, together. Yeah. And, and you can't really I like take that. it out and, and situate it differently. And we were asked the question, what is about long one? And I think that just adds to the value of our community. And, it, and the fact that, as I've said in the video, the Callahan House is a jewel and it's one of many jewels in the ground that we have. And, and um, I don't, I just think it just combines to the thing and you can't break that down. So, so I liked, the, I liked the, the added personalness of it in that we talk about how we value these things. And, and it's just yeah. interesting so, to put this house into context with what's in the community. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's it's possible and, yeah. And the the interviews are, are I think, the, some of the best parts of the film. I'd hate to cut any of that out. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, did you did you give them a heads up that that would be shared in this video? Who? Oh, hold on. Why would I? Um, just for the sake of a courtesy, I guess, a kind of a professional courtesy of oh, hey, we're, we're doing I the was the one being interviewed, yes. and I was basing this on my association with all things in this community that have I've been involved in. Right. Mm -hmm. So therefore. That's why, I mean, I was every bit as involved with that right. as I have been with this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where that all came from. That's a part of who I am, right. is the history of the community. Right. So I saw no need to confer with anybody. No, not confer with the union. It would be a lease, right? Sam, so sure we'd be happy to be. I mean, I would imagine they would probably find well, and I didn't ask well, the office of him. I mentioned that. Well, so. right. I mean, he, yeah. Here's the deal. Yeah. Like, then, then we're going to just open this huge gateway because we do mention, 
anybody that was part of the house in St. Frank's society did utilize the, the auto house and other things. So I don't think we need to ask. Now, if, if in sideline you say, I did state because I'm trying to get um, uh, more documentation and photos to add to to the video, I did state to the, the president of Questers, the state president, that, you know, um, we, we spoke about the organization and, and trying to get photos and stuff, but I didn't, again, it's part of my personal thing right. too. Right, like, it's not yes. like directly touch all that you see, yes. like any organizations mention like this video, not that we share opinions in it, I don't think, I mean, there are some, but any opinions expressed in this video are not yeah. reflected by any organizations mentioned or whatever. I think that I could, they, I thought they could have that in the end credits. I think that we then, yeah. If it's necessary, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah it is. So that would be a little, you know, it's a small it's time to make everybody. Yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jamal. Yeah, these do these things. Yeah, the and just are not. Yeah. Our personal. Yeah, I think that would be appropriate. And I think long as we're we're stating everything to the best of our ability um, to be correct and, and um, accurate. Um, historically and everything, I think that's all we can do. Okay. okay, we're going to move to future agenda items. Is there anything we need to talk about on that? Um, no, we just know that the future just restoration there. and preservation right. is going to be on next month's right. um, new business. Um, holiday decorating, we want to also be on next month's that. new business. <laughs> but that'll be. I actually do. Yeah, no, match. no I, I do know it's so. Yeah. I do. Uh, I do need to stay. I will not be at the November meeting. I will be traveling. Thank um, oh yeah, thank you. We thank you sure everybody yeah. else is available as far as they know, because otherwise yeah. Yeah. we're talking. There's no more forum. I'm going to be going with my um, husband to Tampa to the hundred um, year. Um, yeah, that's so November League 13th. of Cities. Yeah. Is everybody? Yeah. 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 November 13th. Right? Yeah. November 13th. Is yeah. everybody else going to be here? You can be here November 13th. Well, but send an invite out. Yeah. Well, it's already, it's on the calendar. Oh. It's been out since it, the yeah, I think so I'm going to be here. Ken, you're going to be here. Yeah, I think everybody else is going to be here. We're talking about the, the meeting. Our our next our month. Board, She's board, not going to yeah. be here, so is if it anybody else is going to be able to cancel, which we yeah. don't want to do. So. And I'm that's sure what I said. Know. When I'm there, I'm going to also be reaching out to any other communities that have historic homes, and I'm talking to them oh. to see nice. Good what they got and what they do. Well, I know. So, so the only thing I'm hearing is that holiday decorating will be before the next board meeting. Correct. So we have that assessed for 9 a.m. 9 a.m. on the 1st. Yes, it's on the 1st. Yeah, 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 it's on the 1st. We'll be on the 13th. So, and then we'll do the same thing as we did before where the staff and I will yeah. get it all set up. We'll get the trees and the lights set up ahead of time and have the booth yeah. set up yeah. the trees. So, so that works the, the only consideration is yes. what are we doing with the tree in the background? Are we adjusting the past or are we adjusting the, 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 the before the next meeting? A children's type of more friendly thing we'll with books. Are we going to um, do that this year? Yeah. 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 Well, what we yeah. talked yeah. about, yeah, actually, we didn't even talk about this, is because yeah. Candy mentioned the little golden books, but then I think it was in the last committee meeting, it was talked about. I would like to keep it period appropriate. Um, so, so then I think somebody mentioned the idea of like wooden toys or something that is period courses. appropriate but pertains to children. Mm -hmm. And maybe that doesn't necessarily happen this year, but over time working towards, you know, maybe tree by tree, making sure it's period appropriate if there are the ones that need to be changed, need or want to be changed. Like last year we made some Changes in this room to, you know, we got rid of like the bright red and, mm -hmm. and made it a little more Victorian aesthetic. Right. Um, so I'd like to keep working towards that. So I guess if you all have some ideas, otherwise maybe this year we go with some things we have and then we talk about maybe in December we can talk about some things or the November meeting, talk about some things to source for next year. It, what, what seems. Yeah. So my concern is, do we need to worry about bringing things to help decorate that tree this year? Well, that's or just what I'm saying. I don't know if we have time to source a whole new 
tree this year. So what's up there is is, is gold and is like the white points and the white points that is. We're just going to stick with that. Well, at this point, it seems like the best course of action. But let's do it. Okay, we don't need this. Okay, I just want to go fair point. That's where we're at. I think so. Okay. And then, yeah, the November meeting we can talk about. We'll talk about the December open house next year. Yeah. I think that would be a good item to talk about because you will have decorated that meeting, maybe make some decisions on some directions because the time to buy stuff. Is now. Yeah. Is right after right after. Yeah. Right, right. right. When things are on sale. That's right. Yeah. So, okay. so we'll keep that on. The, we'll put that as old business for November is decorating plans to maybe redo one tree this year. Yeah. 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 Yeah.